Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and you may be wondering, what? So I've got a container of red liquid, I've got an empty container, and I have this interesting shape right here. This is known as the Pythagorean cup, or the greedy cup. You may know Pythagoras, he's the one that came up with that theorem that said, in mathematics, it's a fundamental relationship in Euclidean geometry among the three sides of a right triangle. It states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Of course, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Pythagoras also was a jokester, I would imagine. And he had what he called the greedy cup. And the principle was simple. If you filled the cup with wine to a certain level, it held it just fine. And you could move around and you could talk and you could do all sorts of things. But as soon as you became greedy and filled the cup too much, then the cup would start to empty. And not only would it empty of what you filled it above what you should have filled it, it would empty everything out. So how this works is actually fairly simple. You've got a water level that rises within the main cup itself, but there's also a pipe on the outside of the inside of the cup, but inside the outside of the cup. That makes total sense. That rises at the same time because of Pascal's principle of communicating vessels. Once the water level inside the cup is higher than the tube that can circulate and drain it down, the water actually starts siphoning out. I hope that's clear. Let's try it again. Let's fill it up and let's take a look. So there we've got the cup and we have it with the liquid inside the cup. And if you fill it up just a bit more, you'll be able to see the liquid racing around and siphoning out of the cup. And there it goes. Well, this is all fun and games and it's a neat principle, but it's kind of small. How the heck are you gonna play a joke on your friends, your colleagues, or your parents with a cup that small? That's why I suggest you print it bigger. So this is special right here. This cup was printed in the Matter Hackers Pro Natural PLA. This was printed using Polymaker's Clear Poly Smooth material, and then it spent about 40 minutes in the Polymaker Polisher. So the outside of this cup is smooth to the touch, but we should be able to see the liquid move around this cup a little bit better. All right, let's fill it up like we were gonna naturally use it. I don't know if you can see right there, you can see this water level going up as I pour. And once it gets above that water level, you'll then start to see the water take off in this direction. And there it goes. This is a pretty big cup, this might take a while. Here we go, you can see that, right like that. Once it gets to the end, you'll see the siphon action, take it all the way out. That's the Pythagorean cup, that's the greedy cup. That's it, that's it, I know, I know. I, I wanted to take a chance at demonstrating a cool scientific principle from a respected elder in the mathematics community and at the same time, I wanted to 3D print something that was awesome. So this is the Pythagorean cup. I found it on Thingiverse, and I'll put the link down in the description. If you print it yourself, uh, you're gonna get it this size. If you print it 200%, you're gonna get it that size. I highly recommend it printing it bigger because there's more liquid that falls out. And obviously, if you're gonna demonstrate this scientific principle on a family member or a friend, you wanna get maximum liquidity. Well, I hope this was fun. I hope you enjoyed the scientific principle that it demonstrated. If you liked this, let me know in the comments because I'm a giant nerd. I love science, I love math, I love geeky things. And if I can use 3D printing to show off other cool mathematics or scientific principles, then I will 
if you want me to. Well, from here, let's call it good. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on cool stuff coming up. A big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Don't forget to hug each other more often because I love you guys. As always, high five.